Hey, what's up you guys? It's Andrew from Posh Designs, and today I have episode 23 of my weekly series called GFX Tip Friday, where I go into Photoshop, After Effects, Cinema 4D, or another demanding editing program, and I show you guys one tip that can be used in everyday editing. Now in today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a really nice, simple, professional logo in Photoshop. Now right here in Photoshop, as you guys see, I threw together kind of this nice emblem, and it just looks kind of nice. It does look professional, and it just gives a really nice feel to it. And this can be used really on anything. This could be used on a background. This could be used on a YouTube image. It could just even be like a portfolio greeting as well. So guys, let's hop right on into Photoshop, and let's get started with this tutorial. So I'm going to go to File, New. And I'm just going to set my composition to 1920 by 1080. And I'm going to click OK. And then what I want to do is I just want to start off by drawing a circle. So what we can do is hold down Shift to maintain aspect ratio. I'm just going to lay down just a nice simple circle. I'm going to change it from black to kind of a median gray. And what we want to do is we just want to center that up into our composition by holding down Control and clicking on the background. Make sure we were selected on Shape 1 at first as well and hit uh, this button and this button. Basically that's just going to line up your vertical and horizontal centers. And then what I can do is I can come over here back to the shape tool and I'm going to go to polygon tool. And to make a triangle I'm just going to select three sides right up here at the sides. And I'm just going to hold down shift to maintain aspect ratio again. And I'm just going to make it about like that. Now what I want to do with this is I want to change the color. We'll go with a, let's say a nice kind of type of green. We'll select kind of like that. And then what I can do is I can drag this over here and just uh, hold down control T and then now we can transform it. And I'm going to kind of make sure that it's touching just the edge of our circle. So let me make sure I can get that all touching. So just take your time, make sure it's all symmetrical. All right and just need a little bit more smaller of a triangle so right about there that'll fit on in there alright perfect now what I want to do is I just want to kind of play around with the triangle now what I did is I just took a couple of triangles and I just cut out of uh, this triangle and I also used a circle to kind of cut out um, kind of down here just to make another kind of abstract feeling toward, towards it so what I want to do is I'm just going to draw uh, another triangle by going back to my polygon tool on three sides. I'm just going to make a triangle that's about that big and I'm just going to make that black. And what I can do with this is I'm just going to hover over my other triangle and I'm going to press control T again. And I'm just going to cut out some of the uh, triangles. So I'm going to do one right here. Now what we can do is I'm just going to come over here to shape three which is my black triangle. I'm going to hit the eye and then what I can do is click on my shape 2 which is going to be our green triangle and then I'm going to hold down control and I'm gonna hit the image on shape 3 so what I did right there is basically it's just invisible now and now I can uh, it's selected on the shape 2 and what I can do is just press delete um, it's going to say that it can't do it so what we want to do is go to shape 2 right click and go to rasterize layer and then we can do it now so now that's just gonna cut out a triangle out of there and I'm going to do the same thing again so I'm just gonna take this again I'm going to put it right about there and just make it visible once again. Go to shape 2, hold down control, hit on this little image of the shape 3 and click again. All right. So, we have a couple of our triangles knocked out of there and we can just delete shape 3 now because we don't need it anymore. And now what I want to do is kind of do something down here where it's going to kind of look more abstract. It's going to look a little bit more poppy and it's going to just kind of give a nice feel to it instead of it just being so plain. Now what we also could do is just make another triangle right here and just take off uh, out of the triangle as well. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stick with the circle that I had done in my preview. So I'm going to just draw a circle about maybe that big. And then what I can do is put it somewhere in the middle. That's about the middle. And then what I want to do is I'm actually going to make sure that it doesn't look like it's because um, when I do this is what it's going to look like is it's going to look something like this. And I don't want this whole uh, kind of arky type deal. I don't want it to look like a circle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press Control Z and Control Z once again. All right. And let's see. What we're going to do is we're going to take this circle. 
and I'm going to zoom in on it. And then what I want to do is I'm going to add some sides to it. So I'm going to go right about here and I'm going to go down like so and then come back up here. And we want to make sure we're on a new layer right here. So I'm going to go right down about here to there and then right about there and to there. And just play around with the pen tool a little bit until you get kind of that bracket that you want. I'm going to go file, fill path, OK. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my layer one that I pinned out and then I'm going to hold down control and hit shape three, which is my circle. I'm going to press control E. That's going to basically just combine those together. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hit that eye once again. Make sure I'm on shape two, which is my green triangle. I'm going to hit the little preview box of shape three with control. And then I'm going to hit delete. And that's just going to give almost like kind of like an arc way. It's almost going to look like um, like an underpass bridge type deal. And then we have our nice looking logo. Now what we can do is kind of play around with the green triangle as well by right clicking and go to blending options and go into inner shadow and then changing the distance to about one and then maybe the size to about 10. And what that's going to do is it's almost going to look like it's uh, it's been engraved in there is what it will look like. And then what we also can do is uh, take it a step further by going to shape one which is our gray circle. Right clicking on that and going to inner shadow as well making the distance about one and then the size about 15. That's just going to give another little outline of it. I'm actually going to take off the inner shadow. I'm going to add a drop shadow to the back one. And I'm going to make the distance 1. And the size is about 15. And then there we go. So now that's just a nice little preview of it. You don't even have to do the effects on the uh, the back circle. I'm not really digging the back circle uh, effects. So I'm just going to uh, take the effects off. No drop shadow. Just leave it like it is. Uh, but keep the inner shadow on the uh, the triangle because it, it does look like it's kind of engraved into there. You guys can always play around with more things um, as uh, you progress in Photoshop and add more things to it. But that's just going to be the start of a simple logo. So right there, what we can do is just put our name down there. So if I were using this for my channel, I would just type in Posh Designs. And then what you guys can do as well is we can change the color of that to um, like the gray of the circle. And then what we can do to add a kind of more dramatic effect is take the designs and change the color to that green. So now it'll look like that, and it's just going to look a little bit more um, symmetrical, and it'll look just like it's all flowing together nice and smoothly. So I'm going to move this up here. And then what we can do is, what I like to do at least, is I'm going to unlock my background, say OK. I'm going to right click on my layer 0 and go to Blending Options. I'm going to go to Gradient Overlay down here, and I'm just going to change the black color to a really light white, so right about there just so people can tell that there is kind of that gray to white and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take shape one and I'm going to take all of it uh, so posh designs and shape two which is my green uh, triangle I'm going to press control E so that's going to combine it all together and then I'm going to control J which is going to make a new copy of all of this and I'm going to basically hold down shift and just drag down like so and then I'm going to just move this down just a tad bit and then we're going to make a simple reflection so to make this reflection happen what we want to do is just turn down our opacity maybe down to about 20 percent and then go to filter blur and Gaussian blur And I'm just gonna make this maybe five pixels yeah you really can't see the posh design so so I'm gonna go with 2.5 pixels there we go and right there we can now see uh, kind of a reflection of what's going on up top and now we have a simple logo and a simple logo reveal as well so you guys can use this right here as maybe like a Facebook banner maybe a YouTube banner you guys could really use this for anything uh, just a simple desktop background just to show off your new emblem uh, whatever you guys want so if this tutorial did help you guys out please give this video a big thumbs up it helps the videos like these come in a lot and it keeps me going until next time, guys, my name is Andrew from Posh Designs. I make quality graphics for free, and I make your visions a reality.
Metronome and my thoughts keep telling me to get me home, but my balls keep telling me to let me oh, oh, just let me oh. That clock keeps ticking like a metronome, and my thoughts keep telling me to get me home, but my balls keep telling me to let me oh, oh, just let me oh. That clock keeps ticking like a metronome, and my thoughts keep telling me to get me home, but my balls keep telling me to let me oh. Just let me go No words and taste makers Make us no chaser Gets the blood flowing like a fucking pacemaker Cut the middle man We're in the dark It's getting late I really should go He's waiting for me We both know it's not what it seems